The first use case I want to introduce to you is um, about adding schema markup code. So schema markup can be super impactful, especially when it comes to rich snippets. Let me just show you an example. When we look for something like how to start a business, um, we'll see that some of these uh, snippets here have FAQ schema, which generally increases click to rate quite significantly. So it's something that you want to have and add to your search results. And there's a simple way to do this with ChatGPT. Let me just grab some questions to demonstrate it to you. Um, this is one of the blog articles that I've written. And at the end of it, I added a couple of questions and answers. You can just very simply ask ChatGPT to add FAQ schema to these questions. I often use please and ask questions to this thing. It's just a robot, so I can just command it to do something. Add FAQ schema to the following questions pasting them in, machine is working, and uh, it, it does that right away. It knows exactly what I mean. I'm gonna give this a second to load here. Keep in mind, I have the uh, the, the plus, plus version, the paid version here of uh, ChatGPT, so it could be a little slower uh, if you use the unpaid version. Yes, and so now ChatGPT is generating the code for me. It seems to be done. I can copy paste it with a simple click here. And of course, I'm gonna use the schema validator to see if that is hallucinated or if this actually is ready to be implemented. So we can now copy paste that code snippet, run the test, boom, zero errors, zero warnings. We can zoom in a little bit here. This is very, very clean code. Um, this is ready to be copy pasted into your CMS or uh, you know, into your WordPress or what, whatever you're using. That's been that's been super exciting. Of course, you can you can use ChatGPT to come up with the questions in the first place. I'm going to show you how to do that as well in a second. But first, another way of uh, of using that same principle where you add a syntax or code to text can be applied in can be applied in many different ways. One of them is if you need to create XML sitemaps. So uh, you'd be surprised, but there were a couple of companies where I had to create an XML sitemap manually. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to you, but sometimes you just come into a client situation or you work in house and the technical infrastructure is not there that allows you to automatically create XML sitemaps. So uh, sometimes you just want to kick it off manually and do this. And so uh, here's a way. So let's, uh, let's go back my side. I'm using a simple side query here to uh, just find a couple of URLs to demonstrate this. Create an XML sitemap out of the following URLs. I'm gonna paste this one, I'm gonna grab two more just so we don't just have a single URL, which would be very weird. Actually, let me, let me use five to demonstrate this. There's a couple of tag pages here, some other stuff. Okay, that's five. I hit that, hit enter on that command, and then um, ChatGPT creates a, a, a flawless, nice XML assignment for me. Yep, and does it fairly quickly. So it has the right XML syntax. Very similar application to adding schema to a list of questions. And again, you can you can ask it to uh, create schema not just for FAQ, but also for review snippets or for how to, for example, which is uh, is pretty handy. So now uh, I got the, the output here from ChatGPT, and it says that the site includes the LOC element for each URL but you can also include others like last mode or change frequency if you want to provide more information about the, when the page was updated. So now I can take this a step further and I can say, uh, okay, please add, do, 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 I would probably need the timestamps here. Okay, I don't have them now, but theoretically I could, um, I could go to the search results, see when it was published, like so, I see, okay, this was September 6, 2020. And I could then add that to each of the URLs and just ask it, okay, can you add the according last mods timestamp to the XML sitemap? Uh, and it would understand that as well. So you can extract the date, publish date uh, for, for the last mod commands here as well. Cool. Um, so again, you can create schema, uh, we can add schema to, to text uh, with ChatGPT or create XML sitemaps. What you can also do is you can ask it to explain code to you uh, or functions within code. And I find that very helpful when I do technical SEO tasks. Uh, and even though I'm fairly technical, I don't understand every function in code. 
And by the way, not every developers don't understand every function either, right? It's a question of how the code is annotated, less a question of how, how good your coding skills are. So let's see how we can do this. And again, I'm going to use an example for my own website because I want to bash anybody else or, or you know, don't want to have any weirdness in this. So we're going to take a piece of code um, for my own website. Let's see, why don't we take this script over here? Okay, I'm going to copy paste this script. Keep in mind that um, ChatGPT has a character limit of 4,000 and some change, uh, which means that this copy pasting this whole code, even though it's just 450 lines, it might be too much and I might have to first copy paste it into a Google Doc and uh, then copy paste parts over, which also works, right? So sometimes you just have to cut the input into smaller pieces and then you can ask ChatGPT questions about it. So in this case, we're just going to copy paste this JSON LD up here. And we're going to ask Schema what this does. So I can just, uh, sorry, we're going to ask ChatGPT what this does. I'm going to ask uh, what is or explain to me what the following code does. And then I'm going to copy paste it in, hit enter, ChatGPT parses through that and it explains to me relatively quickly, hey, this is a script written in JSON-LD. Uh, it defines structured data using the schema or vocabulary. It includes the following properties. And then it, it explains to me what all of these different properties do. So uh, the, the type, for example, is an article and it gives uh, more information about the URL, logo, the author, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's, it's pretty detailed and not only tells me what the code does, but also for me how to understand it. So now I can go ahead and modify it. Uh, I'm going to show an example once it's done writing here. Okay, so this is now done writing. And I could, for example, ask a change that code because now it has context. So I could say, for example, hey, can you can you compress this code to make it uh, for, for page speed optimization, right? To make it faster to parse. And you ask that, and of course, ChatGPT is down for it and it will now rewrite my code in a compressed version that it can still use on my website. So I could theoretically go in and copy paste this compressed version in, in a lot of cases, it will minimize the white space of the code and it might cluster some functions together or summarize them in some sort of way. So you see it's still generating here, but when I scroll through, it's already already rewriting the code in a much more efficient manner. So again, I could a little bit of patience. I'm not going to do this for you now because it's taking a bit of time, but a little bit of patience. I can copy paste the whole code, feed it chunks of the code, tell it, hey, this is the whole code of the web page. Can you compress all of the code? I could copy paste it back over and then yeah, optimize my page speed. So now it has compressed the code and it tells me this version removes all unnecessary bytes, white space and line breaks to make the code more concise while retaining its functionality. So super cool. Again, uh, there are lots of cases where I have conversations with uh, you know uh, engineers or technical very technical people at companies and sometimes it's just over my head i'm not sure what they're talking about so i can just ask them for an example of the code or for some live code or production or staging code and copy paste it in and then ask ChatGPT to help me understand what it does what the critical functions are and if there maybe is potential to summarize some of them the one thing that i'm going to call out though is you always want to find some way to validate the code you don't want you don't just want to copy paste code blindly because there still can be situations in which the output is wrong or the ai more Model has hallucinated something. So be skeptical about the output and find ways to validate it. So we can use this, for example, again, to uh, paste this into the schema validator and just make sure that there are no errors or warnings. But uh, in general, these, these straightforward applications work really well and they work better the more common that code is used. So this is a very simple piece of code here about the uh, schema on the web page, and that is very common. So the AI had a lot of input and the chances that it's correct are higher.